sitting in my car outside the gym watching Matt and Megas live. They're like some of my favorite people. Okay guys, just left the gym. For some reason I did the exercise bike today and it's amazing. Like my legs hurt so bad, but in a, a really good way. So I was at the gym alone today. My mom couldn't come. So I was like, you know what? Let me try something different. And I love that. I just did one of the little programs where like it was like a hill and it was amazing. And there were certain times when I pushed myself and I was, my heartbeat was beating fast, but my freaking Fitbit, I've noticed, does not measure bike rides. Like, I've taken 1,500 steps so far. That's some horseshit. I'm sorry. It says I've taken 1,500 steps so far, and I kept checking my heart rate during the bike ride, and it never got over 89. However, when I used the little hand meters on the bike, I was like 150. So, I'm gonna have to figure out how that works together, but either way, it felt like a great workout. I was excited to get back into the gym. You guys, I have not been to the gym all week. I've been feeling out of whack. Right now, I'm at the point in my life where vacations are like double-edged swords. Like, they're fun to get away, but they just throw me off of my routine. And routine is what has really helped me lose weight. It's what's helped me do everything. And so, getting out of that routine, I just feel lost and out of control, and I hate that. So. I have not been to the gym this past week, but today is a new day, starting back on it. And I pledged to track every day until Thanksgiving. I'm calling it track until Thanksgiving, trademark. This is just a way for me to like stick to my macros and stick to a routine. I just need the routine. I need the data. I need the accountability, even if it's just to myself. I urge you, join me, track till Thanksgiving no matter what you eat. Although this is also me making a pledge to not overeat either. Like if I do overeat, I'll be tracking it, but the goal is to stay at my macros. I don't have any trips, don't have anything coming up. There's no reason to not eat all my keto macros the whole time. So that's what I am committing to doing today. My hair looks a mess. So I'm getting my hair done today and I'm about to go to Meyer and pick up some food. Okay, so this week I've decided I'm making the Keto Connect butter chicken. I've never made it ever, but I just really want something with some spice in my life. So everyone seems to love that recipe. So I'm making butter chicken for my first meal. Second meal is hot dogs, uh, just cause I don't want to cook two meals. And also I'm making these peanut butter chocolate fat bombs, kind of a play on the Keto Connect Snickers fat bomb recipe, but uh, just with a little more fat. And then I'm having a lot of snacks like, I'm having a kind of like a bulletproof protein shake. So it's a protein shake with uh, added heavy whipping cream. Uh, and I'm having half an ounce of macadamias. Like, I'm pretty excited. So let's get to the store, get some groceries, and get the day going. enough in the exact same style that it was before but hey creature of habit I am at the shop I'm gonna do a couple of hours of work and by work I mean watch Matt and Mega on live and do some work until it's time to go to I have a family dinner today at 3 30 so while I'm out 
I'll work for the next two hours, then I'll go straight to the family dinner, and then I'll come home and do meal prep. So it'll be a later meal prep, but once I get in the house, I don't got to leave. about that Drew Hill. made a recipe that had like ingredients and stuff. Normally I'm just like putting ground beef in a pan and throwing some spices on it and that's it. But let's look at what I made. Okay, so this is my take on the Keto Connect butter chicken. So you'll notice the most obvious difference was the Keto Connect recipe calls for actual chicken and I use canned chicken. I was like, hmm, let's see if I can make it and be super lazy, but like it still tastes good. Spoiler alert! It does. This week I really wanted something with some depth of flavor and boy that turmeric and that cinnamon and that ginger, like it's delicious. And you notice I went ahead and added two bags of frozen rice cauliflower. I just added those right in. So that is going to give my meal a lot of substance and I'm excited. So meal one is going to be butter chicken Atkins bar. One day I'm going to make a dessert and Today's not that day, but one day. This week I get to have a snack, so I'm having a protein shake. Let me get the protein. Y'all, this stuff right here, this stuff right here though, 
it is so good. Like, it literally actually tastes like that. So, I'm gonna be having myself a cinnamon cereal type smoothie. Basically just this, almond milk, heavy whipping cream, ice, and oh, I did buy collagen. Just like the cheapest type there is, I don't even know where it is. And I'm just gonna put a scoop in there just because it was cheap. Like, I don't know anything about collagen, that's it. So I get to have me my shake snack, and then I get half an ounce of macadamia. Where they at? Where are you at? Looking all good. I'm <laughs> looking all good. <laughs> Yes, okay, so I get half an ounce of macadamias. And then for my final meal, I'm gonna have two hot dogs, a slice of American cheese, and I will have two Jello cups and a Zevia. I'm excited. This is gonna be great. And I'm gonna eat this for all six days. Normally what happens is I eat it during the week, and then on Saturday, I might eat one of the meals, and then I might be like, hmm, let's go to Qdoba, or hmm, let's go to Jimmy John's, or like, let's figure it out. No, tracking consistency all the way till Thanksgiving. I'm gonna eat this all six days, and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be eating on Sundays. Spoiler alert, I didn't track today, but starting next Sunday, I will have had to plan a meal so that I can eat that meal. Normally when I'm meal prepping, I'm just eating spoonfuls of this here and there. No, no, tasting portions only and then actual meals that I can track. That way I'm staying on track with my calories and my macros all the way till then. Super excited. Oh, let's look at those fat bombs. I totally forgot those existed. Those are for my second meal as well. So they've been in the freezer. These are looking really good and really substantive. Is that a word? I'm gonna put them back in the freezer. Okay, overall, today was a great day. I got a lot done. I got a lot of work done at the shop. Went to a family dinner. Watched some football. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love football. I was watching that Packers-Vikings game like, give me more. And it turned out to be a tie. You had one job, kicker. You had one job. Came home, got started with meal prep a little late, but I finished in a decent time. So then I'm just gonna go watch some TV get ready to live my life tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week. We're gonna be tracking.